One of the most basic methods to solving a system of equations problem is using the equal values method. We tend to use this method when you have both equations set equal to the same variable. In this scenario, both equations are set equal to y. However, it could also be two equations that are set equal to x as well. In those situations, your first step is to set the equations equal to each other. And once you do that, then you're going to solve for both x and y. So we'll start this process by setting 3x plus 5 equal to 5x minus 7 because they are both equal to y. From here, it's just a matter of solving our equation for x. So we're going to subtract 3x on both sides, which leaves us with 5 equal to uh, 2x minus 7. And we will add 7 to both sides, which will give us 12 equal to 2x. And we finish by dividing both sides by 2, which then is x equal to 6. And that's going to be step 1. Step 1 is to set the equations equal to each other. Step 2 is to solve for both x and y. So we have an x value right now. Now we need to find out what that y value is. So we're going to use this top equation to plug into. So we'll plug the x equals 6 into x here. So we get 3x plus 5, uh, 3 times 6 plus 5, which is 18 plus 5, so y equals 23. And our final solution would be 6, 23 as a coordinate point. Though that would be the point where these two graphs intersect each other. Now I chose 3x plus 5 to plug 6 into, but it wouldn't matter. You could plug 6 into here, and you would get 30, because 5 times 6 is 30, minus 7, you will still get 23. And that's the point of a system of equations problem, trying to find the one coordinate point that makes both of these equations the same thing at the same time.